Okay boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how you can draw your very own close-up of a giraffe's head and partial neck. And it's not as difficult as it looks. I'm going to give you a guide with some um, images of close-up heads. I've also got my PowerPoint up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have our paper portrait direction and just about maybe in the quarter section up here we're going to start with a dot and around that dot I'm going to draw a circle okay so that circle is probably about the size of a dime so that gives you a rough idea now then I'm going to just curve draw sort of like a rainbow shape through the top of that so you can see here through the top which is the eyelid and I'm just going to bring it across like that as well and then I'm just going to bring a shape like that and I've got the eye already. Now, I'm sure you know, just like camels, giraffes have these lovely long eyelashes. I'm just going to do a couple of flicks there. There we go. Now I'm going to do the forehead. Now the forehead of the giraffe's kind of got a bit of a bump there. I'm going to bring his nose down. He's got a long nose, narrow in it, and then just bring it up slightly like that. Then I'm going to bring his mouth and just take it like that, but then I'm going to curve it like so, okay? We've got a nostril, a bit of a smile. Now then up here I'm going to add the ossicones, which are like the little horns. I'm going to bring up two lines and then a round shape there. I'm going to marriage it there so I've got one reflecting on top of his head. Now the giraffes have really big ears, so like big sort of like shaped like leaves. So I'm going to do a big ear like that. Just going to do some tufts. And then I'm going to bring this long neck down like that. And they do the same on the back here, long neck down like that. And then for the tufts of the fur, so like the mane, you can do a wavy line, or you could do just like brushes like this, okay? And that is the outline of your giraffe. Next thing, we're going to start adding patterns. And these are organic shapes. Don't go too tiny, because I want to show you that you're actually going to be painting these shapes. And you're actually going to be using a double loading painting technique too, boys and girls. So it's going to be very, very beautiful when it's done. I'm just going to do some smaller ones around my giraffe's head. Okay, I'm going to make that nostril just a bit larger like that. Okay, and there you go. Now it's your turn. You're going to start drawing your close-up of your giraffe's head. Okay boys and girls, now you've got your giraffe drawing. Now all we're going to do is actually paint the background before we do the spots, the patterns. And we're going to do a double loading technique. So I'm going to give you a variety of colours. There's going to be peach and yellow and orange and brown and white. And then we're going to do uh, an outline if it's wet in black paint or we can use an oil pastel if it's dry depending on what stage you're at. So with double loading, dip your brush in the lightest colour first before you do it into the second colour. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to try the peach and then I'm going to go into yellow. So you can see I've lined my colours up. And double loading. I'm just going to dab and you can see the two colours are working together. I'm not mixing it on the paper. I just want to add a little bit more peach to that. So I'm getting the yellow and the peach showing together. Now because I'm going around some curves. What I want to do is actually add a little bit of shadowing. So I'm going to do a little bit of orange and bring it down. So it shows the definition of the curve in the giraffe's neck and also where the ear is folded against the neck as well. Now you can wash your brush but then use the tissues and take the moisture out of it. I'm going to go back might do a little bit of light white and peach this time and see how that works to get a lighter colour on my giraffe. Now these are the colours I'm using, doesn't mean you have to go with the same ones as me. You could go with a darker balance or more orange 
or more brown. I'm going to show you some true life photographs of our giraffes that we've got on display and see which ones you want to follow in the patterns and also the colorations as well. So I'm dabbing, I'm not mixing, so I'm getting a nice variation of color blending on this paper. Now I'm going to continue that in a moment up around the head but I just want to show you that we do this section first, the background first before we do the spots. Also I'm not showing you but you're going to do it is actually to create an environment around and behind your giraffe too. So what I want to show you is the spot. So I'm going to go with a slightly darker blend so I'm going to go with the orange and then I'm going to go with the brown. So I've double loaded and again I'm just dabbing. It's nice and thick. Beautiful rich colours with a tempera paint and I'm just filling in just like so. I'm going to do the same again. Go with the lightest colour first. Dab it in. So I'm getting this, when you see close up, let me just show it to you, you can actually see how we're getting all these colours without blending. Alright? I'm going to continue this so that you can see the finished effect. But I'll also show you the student examples that we've got from previous. I'll finish the head and do my background so you've got an idea. But here you go boys and girls. This is a close-up of our giraffe. Alright, how fun is that? That's your temple.